Addison Road Community Centre is such a unique place. It's a real haven in the middle of the city. Voice of the voiceless of the inner west. I'll be back, still black, playing all your deadly tracks right here on Radio Skid Row, 88.9 FM. Sisags is out. The Addison Road Community Centre is a nine acre site. We have uh, 23 organisations and we have 67 artists on site. We have theatres, art galleries, reuse centres, Aboriginal legal services, we have radio stations, documentary filmmakers, an animal welfare organisation. We run um, a whole range of different environmental projects. So we have solar generation here. We're part of the return and earn scheme. We have community gardens, composting, and we also look at trying to foster urban habitats. So we have an urban habitat tree here. One of our major environmental programs is tackling the issue of organic waste. So we have a food pantry where we rescue food from landfill. The food pantry provides affordable and accessible food for people who are on low incomes. All of the food in the food pantry is recycled food. We get donations from local businesses and they give it to us and then we provide that to our community that is food insecure. Really it wouldn't be possible without the volunteers. These people are so fantastic, they come here every week and help unload the groceries and stay and serve people. They feel if you want to have our boxes, okay. maybe use them first. With the food waste, first of all it goes to people, people who need it. Then, if there's anything left over, it goes to animals, then it goes to our compost. And then the compost goes onto our gardens, and in our nine acre site, we have lots of gardens. So nothing is wasted at all, it's all used. Our food pantry is saving 96 tonnes of organic waste from landfill annually. It's about stopping good food going into landfill, but um, what I personally, what I think is more important is about supporting people who are living on very low incomes or no incomes at all and making sure they can have access to good quality food and be able to survive. Number 20, Grace. Thanks. Balancing the budget nowadays is near impossible when you're on the dole, so you just got to do what you can. The other night a mum with a child came in and um, they didn't have any toothpaste and she really wanted her kid to be able to brush her teeth. I, I, had, I had financial hardship so I had an injury and um, it was taking a long time to recover and I needed somewhere cheap to buy food. These people are exactly the same as me and you and we, get, we welcome them and you know if they're having a hard week and they've got no money this week but they'll have some next week, you know, we always try and help people out.